Hey guys, it's the Kellys and we are in Niagara Falls! Woo! Right this second we are on the Canadian side because that is where we spent the night last night. Our first day was on the Canadian side and this morning we are going to take you over the bridge to the American side and we want to compare them. Yeah, so our previous video uh, went a lot more and just into our trip in general, a lot more details of our 24 hours, but this is going to be a comparison video between the Can Canada side and the uh, American side. And we want to know in the comments which side you guys think that you prefer. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Please. Thank you. We love you. Okay, so this is Niagara Falls. You have the Canadian side, and then across the river is the side that is New York State, USA. It is connected by the Rainbow Bridge, which you do need a passport to cross with. The American side is home to American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls, and then the Horseshoe Falls are on the Canadian side. So we're looking at the American Falls right now, and we have a pretty awesome view. But at least we can see all the falls in its glory, versus if you're standing there, you just get like a super close-up view, but you don't get to see it from here. I like the Canadian side better so far. feet wide and they have over 675,000 gallons go over the falls per second. That is absolutely insane. seeing the Canadian Falls today, I'm excited to see if the American Falls can uh, match up to what we saw today. I think uh, they got quite a high bar to get over, but we'll see. It is cool though that like we're going to be able to hang out like right there and then go through all that nature to go right there. thought of another pro for the Canadian side as we were walking because as soon as the sun sets the lights go on the falls and it's pretty and it lights them up a little bit so that you can enjoy the falls all night long from the New York side not that we'll be able to test this but I don't think you'd really be able to see it I don't so, think so either another point Point Canada. Canada. Okay, it's time to cross the bridge to America. Rainbow Bridge to USA. You ready to go <laughs> home to your home country, right? Oh, I'm ready to go to a place that's not going to get me maple syrup. Negative PCR required to enter Canada. Well, that's good because we did that. Whoops, that's where the cars enter. <laughs> We're going to backtrack now. I'm big, but not car big. <laughs> Pedestrian entrance to USA. So we live in Michigan and our city in Michigan is only 3.5 miles from Niagara Falls, um, Canada. So we made the drive yesterday and then later today we're gonna drive home. But then what's really weird is now we're about to walk to New York. 
So I guess we're only 3.5 hours from New York. Yeah, which... It's kind of funny. So I'm really excited to compare the two because yesterday I put on Facebook that we were here and one of my friends said comparing the American size to the side to the Canadian side is like comparing Six Flags to Disney World and I've never been to Disney World and I've never been to Six Flags I've only been to Cedar Point so I really don't know what that means so Jennifer I'm gonna find out today we are about to cross the border it's extremely official there are flags Canada Canada we are Canada. currently countryless oh. <laughs> International boundary line. Huh. Huh. Oh, say oh, Canada, Canada my home and native land. By the dawns. <laughs> All right. Well, American stalls aren't in view anymore. Almost sneak preview. Actually, in America. Yeah, it took a little longer than I thought, but. Well, it took long because there was other people in line. There was one guy in front of us. Um, Someone else was having There was issue. somebody else having a big issue. Anyway, we're here. It's time to explore. The guy was super nice. We actually, he's like, what's all this documentation you have? And I was like, oh, that's my negative PCR test and my vaccine card. He's like, you're a citizen. You don't need it. So, good to know. So... This is the bridge we just took. We're like right here. This is where the American Falls are, so I definitely want to see from this point, but then I want to cross over here and do all of this, this stuff too. So that's our plan. little spot with the trees and everything I like that better yeah like I, the lead up to the falls here we think is definitely a lot prettier and because like here it's like I haven't seen the falls yet so like they're kind of teasing the build up the anticipation of like here it goes and it's gonna end I mean honestly the American Falls look a lot cooler from right here yes. than they do on the other side. The American Falls and the Bridal Bales Falls has over 75,000 cubic feet of water go over it per second. In length, it's over 1,000 feet and height-wise, it's 170 feet, but 70 feet are taken up by the rocks below it. Now we're gonna head to Horseshoe Falls where hopefully no squirrel will attack Brian. Or seagulls. It's over 70,000. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I mean, this is definitely a gorgeous view, a gorgeous shot. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I can't wait to see the Horseshoe Falls from the other side too. This is definitely a much prettier walk on the American side than the walk on the Canadian side. So America gets a point here. We're gonna cross that bridge. The bathrooms are locked, so that's cool. The park's supposed to be 24 hours. All right, so we are now officially in Niagara Falls State Park, which is America's oldest state park. Ryan is catching Pokemon, probably. Um, anyway, it is over 400 acres, but 140 of it is underwater because there's, you know, rivers and waterfalls, and all that stuff. So ah! you can see the mist. Must be getting close. Terrapin Point, Horseshoe Falls. Hmm. Alright, for 
first glimpse of the Horseshoe Falls from over here. It's very interesting. I have some thoughts. Brian, what did you just say? I thought that on paper, I thought the Canadian side would be better, but nature-wise, the American side at different points is definitely more scenic and prettier. What I think as of right now is that the Canadian side is better when you want to see the full waterfall top to bottom, but the American side is better if you're really fascinated by watching water go over the top like I am. back over to that bridge go back to Canada <laughs> one final point is on the Canadian side you're not gonna get attacked and maimed by wild animals like those vicious squirrels <laughs> that attacked me and tried to ruin my trip we were kind of talking about like how are these falls discovered like it's like 1600s you're like in a canoe or something just canoeing along and then ah! <laughs> so there's a <laughs> the last guy in the canoe, the last canoe, is like, hey everybody, I, I found this fall, but I don't know, I lost like 18 of my friends, but hey, I'm gonna name it Niagara. I found it. So that's cool. Ow. <laughs> don't go swimming right there. You'll fall down. My nephew Luke always wants us to do a cannonball, especially Brian, because the splash is bigger, but can't do it here. No buddy. cannibals. No cannibals at Niagara Falls. All out. Okay, we are done and ready to make our final thought comparisons. The American Falls is a state park, so that's pretty cool that you're literally on an island between the two falls. It's fall, it's beautiful. I'm sure it's beautiful in the summer. A lot more to do in the summer because it's not season right now. Right. If you're a health person, you can exercise. It's hilly. It's nice. We're not health people. No, we're not. The stairs, I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> but there's so much more to the park that you could walk and see. We're just in a hurry to cross the border. So, yeah. um, like I said previously in the video, the American side is really cool if you like to watch how the water flows up to the falls and down. Um, definitely really liked that but if you want to see the whole waterfall in all its glory like top to bottom the Canadian side you can't beat the views mm -hmm. and then from a vacation point of view we don't know much about the American side I know there's a couple of hotels around here in my research I saw the word sketchy a lot you're not that far from Buffalo so I think a lot of people stay in Buffalo and then come here as a day trip or something like that. They don't actually stay in the falls. Yeah, the Canadian side definitely has the tourist tourist thing down pat. Like if you have kids and want to blow a ton of money, I, the Canadian side is definitely where you're going to want to be. There's plenty of hotels, whether you want to stay somewhere for $400 a night or for $50 a night. And then there's a ton of restaurants, a ton of activities. We're not venturing out of this park, so we really can't help you with that part. But it's definitely, I'm really glad we came to the American side of the falls because it's a very interesting perspective. Like a lot of people have always associated the Canadian side of the falls with like, ugh, how touristy, how beautiful, but ugh, how touristy and expensive and chachi and all of that stuff. Yet the American falls side is beautiful because it's a park. All right, well, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. If you want more info of our Niagara Falls trip 
in bulk than our previous video, which was 24 hours in Niagara Falls. You can go back and check out that one. Please like it. Our videos as well. Hi. All right, we'll see you later. Comment below if you like the American Falls better or the Canadian Falls. I wanna know. I wanna know too. Okay, bye. Bye. I guess I should have looked at it first. <laughs> oh, they attack you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the baby crows. <laughs> They're gonna poop on me. The American Bridal Falls. American Falls. The American. The American Bridal Falls has no. Ameri <laughs> so much going on. <laughs> American Falls and the Bridal Falls has no. over.